You want me to go ahead and open the meeting? Uh, yep, you're good okay. now. I'd like to call this meeting to order and announce that a quorum is present on February 24th, 2021 at approximately 6.32 p.m. And let me just run through roll call real quick. Okay. Uh, Chairperson Moreno? Here. Uh, William Mann? Absent. Uh, Chase Mitchell. Here. Uh, James Salser. Here. All right. uh, and Karen Mazara. Here. Awesome. Thank you. All. And the, there were no public comments that were received. Oh, I think we lost Aaron. Might have to, sorry about that. He'll be back in just one second. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. And uh, right. sorry William, about you're here now? Yeah, it, it wasn't, for some reason it wasn't working. I'm not sure. All right, no problem. It seems like we're all here now, so. Um, uh, Chairperson, we're on, uh, as put on the public hearing, this is the first item, number one. Okay. Um, conduct a public hearing on a variance request from Main Code of Ordinances, Chapter 14, Article 1401, Section 1401008, and located at 305 East Burton Street, Maynard, Texas, to increase the minimum fence height from six feet to eight feet. All right, and um, I'm gonna bring in Mr. Jones. He is the applicant for this request. Okay. Uh, Mr. Jones, are you there? I'm here. All right, um, so yeah, we're, we're just on the public hearing. We haven't discussed anything yet. Um, okay. If you like, um, you're, you could address the, the board first. Okay. Here, Adam. Just let me know when. Yep, yeah, you're good now. You could just uh, say whatever you like for your case. Okay. Uh, I, I guess I want to start off by saying uh, this is probably, uh, these situations are probably a uh, financial gain this type of uh, variance, but I'm here to say, first and foremost, this, this fence is one of many uh, security things that I and my brothers set up for my mom because she's been getting hassled from her next door neighbor for years. I mean, ever since my dad passed away, which has been over 10 years ago, he's just been harassing her. We've called the cops uh, numerous times, so this should be recorded. Uh, he just does things just to, just to get up on there. My mom will be 80 uh, in July. So just imagine, put yourself in my place. Your mom is living next door to someone who's harassing her and he knows she's there by herself at night. So we, we put up this fence only just to shield, just give her some comfort, some peace because she goes and works in her yard and, and the guy just pulls up there. I've caught him numerous times. He'll pull up there with his truck and just stand inside the, the door of the truck and just look over at her. And it, it just it just sets her off. And even this this last meeting, uh, before it was canceled, uh, my mom was gonna speak and and but she was just so uptight about it. The, the next day she had to go to the emergency room because her stress level was just off the charts. So I chose not to let her speak. I told her, don't worry about it, I will take care of this. And like I said, we put up the fence. We've installed cameras. Uh, what else did we do? We, uh, like I said, we called the cops numerous times and nothing seems to work. So like I said, we, we put up this fence just to give her another level of comfort in her own home. And pretty much that's it. I, I, I do wish she was here so you guys could hear her voice. 
in her words, because I'm, I'm giving it to you as I've seen for myself. So I just hope you guys consider, and, and I know this fence goes against, you know, the, the ordinance and whatnot, but I just hope you guys look beyond that and, and look at it as, as giving another human peace. Cause like I said, she'll be 80 this year. And with that fence up, she is, Definitely felt good, but even with the fence up now, he still uh, is parking like where the fence is not at eight feet and he'll still get over there and just kind of look in her yard. And she's, he's dug up a couple of uh, uh, fence posts that runs between the two houses and he, he'll dump them in her backyard, even though it's on the other side of her fence. But he does little things like this. He, he has no business in her yard, period. And the police have told him that. So within the law, we don't know what else to do. And we're trying to stay within the law. So we're, we're doing everything in our power to keep my mom at peace while she's living there. And that's, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I just hope you guys consider it leaving the fence as it is. Well, thank you for that. Sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, Y'all have any uh, questions for Mr. Jones? I don't have any. No, no questions. Any questions? I don't. Okay. okay. Um, so from the, the staff that the city side was, um, in most cases, generally variances um, are for like unchanging conditions of a property. Um, and so stuff like the, the lot shape, the topography, heritage trees, things that um, wouldn't change, or usually don't change over time with the property. Um, like a, a, it's actually like a hardship of the land um, would be what a variance should be granted on. Um, and so uh, with our opinion, uh, you know, disagreements with a neighbor doesn't qualify um, since if, you know, people move, people change, um, but the fence would remain the same. Um, and so it's sort of uh, conferring a special advantage to, to the property owner that other similarly situated properties wouldn't enjoy. Um, so it's not, you know, uh, may not be unique to the property. That's why it's a, supposed to be a, a, a special attribute of the property itself, the land in most cases. Um, so that's, that's staff's opinion for this one. Um, right. But if you have questions, you can answer those too. I, I do have a question, Scott. If you can refresh my memory, I know we talked about this, but if if we were to grant this to this one individual, this would up, apply to every every resident in the area, or or not. And my other one was, why does the minimum need to be raised instead of this making it eight foot max, so that wouldn't affect people that have six foot as it is right now and just change into eight as a max. Mm -hmm. so we could have between um, six and eight. I think it would be the uniformity of each home, like in our <laughs> subdivision, if someone had six foot and eight foot, it's not, I believe that goes against some type of ordinance in the, and when it comes to like the builders and the permits that are required. Right, this is this is part of downtown Mater, the, it's, it's where, because people really don't even have fences there. Exactly. If they are, they're chain link. Mm -hmm. So um, within the code, like the you all as the board, um, you can't change the code. Um, it specifically says that you know you you couldn't alter the code. That's a city council uh, action. Um, so it would be for them to you know determine that maybe eight feet is should be the new standard or. There should be a process for it, but council would have to do that. Um, so Daryl were, would have to address the city council to change the verbiage here from the minimum 
to the maximum instead. So we could add between six and eight. Yeah, I mean, if, if okay. council were inclined to, um, gotcha. you know, if, if, if they felt that that was what was in the best interest of the community, they okay. could do that. Um, but here tonight, um, yeah, you, you couldn't do that. But um, if you were to grant the variance, um, you know, other property owners could make the same variance request claim and that there would be precedent for it. Um, gotcha. Okay. So, so in a way right. it kind of changes the code, but okay. um, there'd be that extra step for every, every property owner would have to say that they had a similar situation, um, which kind of goes against what variances should be granted on. But I'm, I'm just going off what I've seen in Austin and mm -hmm. in Pflugerville, and I'm pretty sure I've seen eight foot fences. Yeah, I know, yes, in Austin, they have a process that you can do that. You get approval from your neighbor, you're supposed to. Um, I mean, that's something that if, if we want to do that here, that would be a council action. If they can amend our screening, our, you know, our fence code for that. Yes, Scott. Yes. Let me ask a question. So you're, you're basically saying that, and, and this happened to me years ago, so I know it's a possibility uh, unless things have changed. We could ask or request that this, this, uh, this uh, person get letters from their surrounding neighbors, of, obviously, except for the one that she's having a challenge with, um, to approve that eight foot fence and that would be acceptable. Is that what you're saying? No, so that that's what Austin does. And so I was saying that that was an example of if that um, you know, Chase was saying that, um, you know, if, if we wanted to have that allowance here in the city, that'd be one way to do it is, you know, city council can amend the fence code to say, you know, you can go up to eight feet if your neighbors approve, you know. So, so what are you asking us to, to do today to approve this eight foot fence for this one person or our constituent or, or tell, tell us exactly what you'd like for us to know what we're talking about or, or can we approve? So it's, um, you know, at your discretion, I was giving staff's opinion is um, that it doesn't meet the threshold for a variance request. Um, Mr. Jones, I mean, he gave you his reasons why it should, and it's, it's up to y'all to decide um, if you believe it, if it does, if it is a variance. Um, do, you know, by ch do we by chance have any documentation on how many times the police have been to her house? Do we have that documentation? Um, I could get it. I did do, um, no, I didn't provide it, but I did do an open records request. There was one um, instance where his mom had called the police and it was specifically she had requested that it be documented but um they didn't she didn't press charges or do anything like that she just wanted it on the record so there was one um and it i did it for a two-year period so from like a month ago going two years back so there was one on the record but um i mr jones is not wrong that you know police have been there it just actual police reports you know, weren't filed, but um, they they have been to the property on a number of occasions. Well, I, I have a concern about this woman's safety, personally. Mm -hmm. That's just my thoughts. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Any more questions, concerns? All right. I'd like to make a motion to close the public hearing. Okay. Are we going to take any action on this or are we just going to close the meeting? Uh, the action item is. Uh, Number three on the agenda. Okay. So this is just the public so we're hearing. We're going to close the discussion. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's just the and yeah. you can still discuss it more under three. It's just we separate the public hearing from the action item. Okay. Okay. 
Any motions to close the public hearing? I'll make a motion to close the hearing. Any second? I second that. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh, roll call. Uh, yeah, I'll run through and then you can let me know if you're in favor or not. Uh, uh, Chairperson Moreno? Aye. Uh, Chase Mitchell? Aye. Uh, James Solser? Yeah. Uh, oops, sorry. I skipped you. William Mann? Aye. Aye, sorry about that. And uh, Karen Mazarek? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Can you guys, I think I'm having some internet problems. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yep. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So motion carries to close public battle hearing, correct? Yes. Yes. All right. Now on to our consent agenda. Uh, it's the consideration, discussion, and possible action to approve the Board of Adjustment meeting minutes uh, for March 25th, 2020. Regular session ending January 27th, 2021 regular session. Can I get a motion to approve those minutes? I motion to approve. approve. Second. Second by James Seltzer. Roll call. All right. uh, Chairperson Moreno? Aye. Uh, William Mann? Aye. Chase Mitchell? Aye. Uh, James Seltzer? Aye. And Karen Mazra? Aye. Thank you all. All right, motion carries. On to a regular agenda. It's the action item three, consideration, discussion, and possible action on a variance request from Maynard Code of Ordinance, chapter 14, article 1401, section 1401008, and located at 305 East Burton, Street, Maynard, Texas, to increase the minimum fence height from six feet to eight feet. I'd like to make a motion that we accept this uh, consideration, discussion, and possible action on a variance request from the Maynard Code of Ordinance, Chapter 14, Article 14.01, Section 14.01.008, and located at 305 East Burnett Street, to increase the minimum fence height from six feet to eight feet. I second. Okay, uh, Chairperson Reno. Maybe frozen. You just like you froze. <laughs> Maybe back in a second. <laughs> we'll give it one moment. Yeah, he'll be back in a second. Sorry about that. Welcome back, Aaron. Sorry, I think I lost you guys again. Okay, where were we? Um, so um, Karen did a first motion to approve it and Chase seconded it. And so I was gonna do a roll call. Okay, cool. Or, and this is to, to approve the variance request. Okay. So uh, Chairperson Reyna. <laughs> did he go away? <laughs> Still searching yeah. here. Oh Maybe. man. Doesn't, doesn't want to get his. his, his uh, oh hell. Aye. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Uh, William Mann? Nay. 
Okay. Uh, Chase Mitchell. Aye. Uh, James Sulcer. Oh no, we lost James. <laughs> um, I don't know that he's in back yet. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. we're just giving it a second or a minute to see if uh, Mr. Solcer comes back. There's still some lingering internet issues <laughs> tonight here in the city. I'm not sure because I mean, we only need four to 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 have a quorum, but I don't know how it works if someone leaves in the middle of a meeting or in the middle of a vote. <laughs> uh, oh, he's coming back. Okay. Hey, Mr. Solcer, are you there? Yep, I'm back. Hi, welcome back. Um, <laughs> so, uh, to refresh you real quick, I'm not sure where you dropped off, but um, um, Karen had made a motion to approve the variance and Chase had seconded it. And so we're just going through the roll call to, it's, to see who wants to approve this variance. Um, and so we got to you. Um, so do you approve or not? Don't approve. Approve, okay. So it's four yes and one no. So I mean the, the variance passes. Motion carries. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Absolutely. On to our next regular agenda. <clears throat> Consideration, discussion, and possible action on appointing a board of adjustment persons, chairperson to serve a one-year term. So I, um, you guys can hear me, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. All right. I'd like to first off by thanking you guys for appointing me first chairperson of the BOA. I really greatly appreciate that. It's been a great learning experience. And with that being said, I'd like to nominate board member Chase Mitchell as the next chairperson. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, so chairperson Reno. Yes, sir. Aye. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, William Mann? Aye. Uh, Chase Mitchell? Can I vote on this? I guess I can't. Aye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, James Solcer? Aye. And Karen Mazar? Karen? I can't wait till we can do in-person meetings. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting there. Yes, Karen? Karen, do you, do you accept Chase as the chairperson? Can you, can you hear me? Aye. Yes, okay, gotcha, okay. thank you. <laughs> All right, so if 
I had a question for you. Sure. Okay. Uh, if the chairperson uh, is unavailable, who do we go to secondly? Um, this board at this time, it doesn't have a vice chair. Um, that's not part yeah. of the... But, but with that contingency, who would uh, take on that responsibility? Um, in the past, like with planning commission, if the chair and the vice chair both weren't there, just one of the members would handle the meeting. They just kind of just decide that evening who, who would take charge, you know? Okay. Good to know. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Is that right? Motion to adjourn and then be all set. Second that. Oh, sorry, who, uh, who made a first motion to adjourn? Aaron did. All right. Aaron. Yeah, I like to motion. Got it. All right. Uh, Chairperson Moreno? Aye. Uh, William Mann? Aye. Chase Mitchell? Aye. James Holser? Aye. And Karen Mazarak? Aye. All right, great. Thank Meetings you all so adjourned. much. Have a good evening. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye all. Bye-bye.